Oh, this guy's back again. What's going on? It's Kevo Bato, and I'm back with another Botticera tips and tricks video. The first video did so well, so I figured I'd jump in and try to do a second one. Hopefully you find this informative. If not, you know, fuck me. All right, this is more of a simple tweak that you can make to your Botticera system. So if you want the buttons and the menus to match what are on your controller, head to your settings, go to user interface settings, go to theme configuration, and then you're gonna go to icon set. It might not be exactly where it is for in this theme, but it'll be somewhere up and down that list. And then you switch it to what you want. So I switched it to Xbox and you see in the bottom left corner, I've got the A and B and you know all the Xbox buttons. Now I'll go back and change it really quickly to uh, PlayStation. I use PlayStation controllers, so let's switch it back. And yeah, as you see in the bottom left corner, now we've got the triangle and the X. Who needs a mouse when you have a PS4 or a PS5 controller? If you're using one of those controllers, all you've got to do is use the touchpad as a mouse. I have a little video here showing exactly what I do. The right side of the touchpad click is a right click and a left touch of the touchpad is a left click. It's really simple and easy. I don't even use a mouse most of the time, I just use this. And it isn't perfect as you see when I go to close out of here, since I tap the middle of the touch bar, it doesn't work. I have to go back again and tap further to the left. All right, I'm gonna teach you how to flex your Botticera system, even if you don't have a bunch of games. So very quickly, I'll scroll through my collection right now on this system and show you. There's only a couple of collections, I think nine or 10 or eight, it doesn't matter. So we'll go in here to settings, we'll go down to game collection settings, and we'll scroll all the way down to show empty systems. If you turn that on, you're entering ultimate flex zone. Now you're gonna have so many systems showing up on your Botticera system. Half of this shit, I guarantee you don't even know what it is. I know I didn't. Yeah, this is just a quick tip on how you can do something a little stupid with your system. It creates a lot of clutter and I don't recommend it, but it is fun if you wanna show it off or show off a theme. Did you know most themes have custom settings you can go in and change? Let me show you very quickly. All you've got to do is go into your settings and then you go down to user interface settings and then you go down to theme configuration and in here there's a ton of settings you can change. Now they're different for every theme but the best themes have plenty of options to choose from but I'll just go in here and show you you know some of the settings that you can alter and also I'll go up and change the theme shader here in a second just so you can see it does work these settings so let's go up to the theme shader and we'll go and we'll just put crt no we'll do scan lines let's go back to the main screen and you'll be able to see the scan lines i don't know if you're able to see it very well but what we'll do is we'll go back we'll use this blue it's easier to see we'll go back and remove the scan lines and i think you'll be able to see how the effect took place in here is a ton of settings you can change i recommend you do it to give your Botticera system its own little personal touch If you watched any of my theme review videos, then you know how much I talk about my Pokemon custom collection. So today I'm gonna to show you how you can make a custom collection of your own, which is dependent on whatever theme you're using. I recommend you using an Artflix theme. It gives you the most options for different custom collections, but here we'll just go down and scroll and show you a list. I mean, there's tons of stuff here. I'll add a few just to show you that it's working. Ah, we'll just add Mario. Let's add Mario and see. So boom, now you can go in and add any game you want into that collection and it's easier to get, you know, you can find it straight on your home menu. But let's go add a couple more just to show you how it works. Um, let's see, Mortal Kombat, oh, that's sick. So any Mortal Kombat games you might have or arcade games, you can throw them in there. We'll add one more just to show you and then we'll wrap up this tip. We'll add uh, DBZ, so let's find that. Where's Dragon Ball at, there it is. Yeah, and there it is. So as you can see, it's just an easy way to make your own custom collection. This is a tip that can really save you some space on your Botticera system. You can clean your games list and box art, you know, your scrapes automatically. You don't have to do it manually. You don't have to go in there and mess with anything. All you got to do is go into settings, go to front end developer options, 
and then you're going to be looking for clean games list and remove unused media so when you click that it's going to remove any files that don't have a reason to be there so if you deleted the game you don't have it anymore whatever the case may be if you've got a bunch of videos for a collection you don't have anymore it'll wipe those off the face of the planet and save you some space this is a great tip for either Nintendo users or a way to mess with your friends horribly. You can change the X and O functions of your controller. Head to system settings. You're going to go to front end developer options. Scroll down until you find switch confirm and cancel buttons. If you turn that on, it'll switch your A and your B or your X and your O or whatever. If you're using PlayStation, don't do this unless you're trying to have a bad time. Have you ever needed to just turn this shit down? If so, I'm gonna show you how. I'll put a little video up on the screen showing, but if you use the right thumbstick, if you push it up, the volume will go up. And if you push it down, the volume will go down. You can also click the button to go to the next song. If you wanna add a little custom or personalization to the startup of your Bodicera system, follow me. Hit F1 and go to your file explorer. Then you're gonna head over into Splash. Now you're gonna drop any MP4 that you want. I think there are some requirements of the size, so just keep it on the small side, but all you do is put it in share splash, and I'll go in and I'll show you what mine looks like. So you see, this is me cutting all my Bodicera system. This is a custom splash screen. All right, that's gonna wrap up this video. I appreciate you for watching. If you got this far, here's a big round of applause. I'll insert it here. Hey, it's you again. There's a couple of you actually making it this far. I appreciate you and check out one of these videos if you haven't already. Thanks, bye.